This is the date and audio. RSS 315 HE-22 12-inch high excursion subwoofer. So this is my new subwoofer. It is the Dayton Audio RSS 315-22. It is a beast. It weighs around 32 pounds. It retails for about 250 to 260 US dollars. Um, as you can tell, these magnets are huge. These magnets are like seven inches in diameter, but it has a uh, RMS power handling of 800 watts, and the peak is somewhere around thousand to thousand five hundred watts for peak this excursion is huge and it is a quality built subwoofer I can tell you that right now and it has two two ohm voice coils and the springs in these are really hard to push down but I think that's good because it handles so much power so let's take a look at the thing okay so we're over here taking a look at the back and around the edge where it mounts there is some pre-installed foam there so you don't have to have foam or anything when you mount it. And this this breathing hole is huge. Everything about the speaker is just huge. So let's see, let's go from right there. Yeah, it's pretty much an inch and a half. Yeah, almost inch and a half. But okay, let's take a look at how wide these magnets are. I can't do this, because It's not going to be accurate. I do have the paper somewhere. So that looks like seven and a half inches for magnet diameter. That is insane. I've never seen a speaker that big. Oh, I'll show you the old one that I had in my car. I'll compare them. But the spider, the spiders on them are dual stacked and the leads are woven into the spider on both sides. Right there is the uh, first spider. And that is the second one, or the second or the first, I don't know how you want to do it. But there's two spiders for stability. And this voice coil, I think it's a three inch al aluminum voice coil, that's what the, the papers say. You can also find all these specs on their website. So, okay. So from right there up, the excursion is one inch tall, which is pretty, it's a lot, okay. This is me pushing from both sides. I don't want to do it because I don't want to accidentally scratch the voice coil. But that's insane. Um, I will be showing a build video of the subwoofer box and how I did it, which is not built yet, but it will be soon here in a couple weeks. This thing loves to move air. Like the excursion in it. I had it in my um, old speaker box, like inverted mounted because the, the basket wouldn't go in there all the way. And it has a... Uh, the port on it is two and a quarter inches tall, which is a lot, and I have the ends of the port flared to help the port chuffing. It's got a triple stacked magnet, triple stacked ferret magnet. Let's see how thick these are. Okay, so from right there up, I am seeing two inches and three eighths. And that's pretty thick. That's thicker than my other one. My other my other speaker has a double stack magnet and I'll pull it up just for comparison right now. Okay, so as you can see there's almost no comparison. Because that has a, a double stacked magnet. I did a review on this earlier. Not early, but sometime in my YouTube. It has a single spider. The leads are not woven into the spider. This thing says it has a thousand watt peak. But it can only... Here we are. 250 watts RMS. I put about 400 through it. Works just fine. Hasn't blown on me yet. But this speaker will be replacing that speaker. This was like 40 US dollars. This is worth the money. This is a huge upgrade from this. So I will be showing you a build video 
Actually, let me just pull the plans real quick. So I'm going to get some slow-mo shots of this moving. 